Right, so in this demo I'm going to show you how instead of using this long URL to access your page, you can have something that is a lot shorter by uh, changing some of the uh, configuration of your application. So, the first thing you want to do is shorten this part, right? So, this is actually the context root of your application. To shorten it, you go into your project properties under Java E application, and you can put something in here. For example, if you want it extremely short, you can just put um, backward slash, okay? You can also give a name here, which is a little bit more uh, appropriate, right? So, the thing that you'll see though is, once you do this and you actually try and run this in JDeveloper, sorry, run the page, is that you'll actually get a deployment error. So, let me just maximize this and you'll see that it says that um, there's already an application using this pattern for the URL. And this actually is an application that comes built in with the WebLogic server that is embedded inside JDeveloper. So open your application server navigator, you can do it from here, okay, this one. And then under deployment, you'll see an application called the welcome page application. Uh, and just so you'll know, to go back here and just take this and open this URL, okay, you'll see this page. Now, you probably don't need this application in any case, so you can actually go and undeploy it like this. Okay. Once it's undeployed, you can again run your application, and this time it should uh, deploy uh, correctly. And you'll get a much shorter URL, right? However, you still have this faces part and you have the untitled name over here. So, how do you get rid of those? Um, the faces part, this one comes from the WebXML section, okay? So, if you actually open the WebXML file, and you can look at the source thing, okay, you'll see this entry over here. So, this entry basically says that um, in order to use the face, uh, faces servlet, you need to have this URL. So, you can actually change it, you can give it another name, but it needs to be something, okay? And if you don't want to have anything in there when people type the URL, there's another solution that you can use, okay? So, the first thing to understand, again, is you can put here an A, and then you can just have A in your path. But I'm going to take another approach. The approach I'm taking is, under web content, I'm going to create an index HTML file, okay? So, this is a simple HTML file. And what I did here is used this line in my HTML file. And this line basically says, let's go and do a redirect to this page from this page. Okay. So now this one is actually part of your application. Okay. Once you create this and you actually run this page, okay you're being redirected to the page you want to see. By the way, this is not a page I wanted, so I probably wanted it to be going to Untitled 2. So just pick up whatever is the, the main page of your application here, okay? Save this. And then again, all you need to do, go over here, remove this whole thing, click Enter, and you'll be redirected to the page that you want people to land on. Okay? Go over here, remove everything, and you get a page showing up. If you want to switch this port, this is actually done in the um, WebLogic configuration, so you can actually um, invoke the console, set up your um, WebLogic port to listen to port 80, and then you don't have to specify a port, or even a better approach, put a web cache in front of your server and set it to listen on port 80.